Okay, so I've had a couple of requests to do a tutorial for my Gaijin Odango. It's a modified hairstyle from the Japanese Odango bun, and it is for much longer hair, but I believe it could be used for shorter hair. My hair is naturally straight, so the night before, I like to put it up into two small Dutch braids so that I get a nice wavy texture. That way I don't have to back comb or use any hairspray. But if you like to do stuff like that, then that's fine. I just don't. I start off by putting my hair in a very high ponytail. I don't put it right in the middle of the top of my head because that's a little too high. But just at the back, right at the top works fairly well. I like to use kind of a long rubber band so that way it makes it stand up just a little bit. Just like that. And I'll bring it forward just a little bit. And I have this little it's kind of like the topsy tail. Um, I found these at my flea market. You don't have to use them. I like to use them because it just makes it so much quicker. But you can always use your fingers. And then you just have to retighten your ponytail when you're done. But this way, it's a lot less painful. It's a lot quicker. And Pull it through the front, just like this. Bring it around and that kind of lifts it up a little bit. 
and then just tuck the ends underneath. And then two more bobby pins. I use one on either side just to sort of secure it down. And then like I said, if it if it's not in a great perfect little floppy shape, I'll take some of these. These are those wide Euro pins and you can take them and just stick it in and twist it and put it into the base of the ponytail and that gives it a nice fluffy weird lumpy shape. And then you can always top it off with some colorful barrettes for a nice pretty kandashi flower. And there you have it, my Odango bun. I got you in Odango.